In judicial elections, the presence of big money is a relatively recent phenomenon. In Caperton v. A.T. Massey Coal Company, the plaintiff argued that big donations to the judge threatened its access to due process. When the judge wouldn't recuse, the United States Supreme Court weighed in. Hugh Caperton and Herman Mining Corporation sued A.T. Massey Coal Company in West Virginia State Court for fraudulent misrepresentation, concealment, and tortious interference with contract. A jury awarded Caperton $50 million. The trial court denied Massey's post-trial motions contesting the verdict. West Virginia's 2004 judicial elections occurred before Massey appealed to the West Virginia Supreme Court of Appeals. In that election, Brent Benjamin challenged Justice McGraw, who sought re-election to the state's highest court. Don Blankenship, Massey's chief executive, supported Benjamin. Blankenship contributed the maximum of $1,000 to Benjamin's campaign. He also donated $2.5 million to a political organization supporting Benjamin and spent half a million dollars on independent expenditures, including direct mail and television advertising. Blankenship's $3 million in contributions were more than the total spent by all other Benjamin supporters and 300% more than Benjamin's campaign committee spent. Benjamin won. Following Benjamin's election, Caperton moved to disqualify him from hearing Massey's anticipated appeal based on the potential for bias created by Blankenship's donations. Benjamin denied the motion, concluding that there was no objective evidence establishing that he was biased toward Massey. When Massey filed his petition appealing the trial court's verdict, the Supreme Court of Appeals granted review. In a 3-2 decision, the state appellate court reversed the verdict against Massey. Benjamin joined the majority. Caperton petitioned for rehearing and again moved for Benjamin's removal. Benjamin denied the motion. After the Supreme Court of Appeals granted rehearing, Caperton moved a third time for Benjamin's disqualification. Again, Benjamin denied the motion. On rehearing, the appellate court once more reversed the jury verdict 3 to 2, with Benjamin in the majority. The United States Supreme Court granted cert.